Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my process for creating a background for my card using Newton's Nook Toucan Party Stamp and Tropical Leaf Stencil. Here's a look at some of the supplies I'll be using. They will also be listed down below the video as well as on my blog. I'm also doing some Copic coloring and those will be listed out as well. A quick side note before we get started, you may notice my name is listed differently now. I'm just going through a slight rebranding of my work, so you'll see it listed now as Mindy Egan Design instead of Paper Creations by Mindy. I'm starting by creating my background with a mix of greens from the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. I'm taping my stencil to a piece of cardstock and the reason I'm taping it from behind is so when I remove the stencil I'm not ruining the front of my card. I'm also going to tape down the stencil uh, to my craft mat so it doesn't move around. I'm using the painter's, na uh, painter's tape and as a little tip make sure when you tape from your tape from the back doesn't touch the tape from the front. You will see what I mean later. The two sticky sides of the tape overlapped each other and I had a really hard time getting it apart, so just be careful. Back to the ink blending, I'm using Twisted Citron, Peeled Paint, and Lucky Clover Distress Oxide and applying that randomly on my stencil with my Jumbo Dauber. I noticed these daubers in a video from Gina K and gave them a try. I really do like them. They have a nice rounded edge to them, a little bit more pricey than the handle tool that I was usually using, but I just really like how they blend the colors better together and I don't have that circular mark when I put my ink down. So I'm just dabbing these colors around and I'm dabbing because I don't want to catch the edge of some of the leaves. Um, the dabbing just makes it a little bit safer and still has the same effect. Once everything is blended, I'll go ahead and carefully remove the stencil and you'll see this beautiful multicolored tropical leaves background. I love how these came out with the two to three toned look to them. This can also be tried on some green cardstock too, so some tone on tone work. And since it's the oxides, it'll work well on the dark cardstock. For my image, I'm gonna use this sweet little toucan image from the Toucan Party Stamp set from Newton's Nook. There are a lot of great images and sentiments on this set where you can create some more of your, you know, your own backgrounds for this. So I'm using my Mini Misty to stamp the image onto Nina White Solar cardstock and I'm going to stamp it with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, which is a Copic friendly ink since that is what I'm going to be coloring with today. I've sped up the coloring portion of this video, but if you prefer, you can skip this section and skip on over to 754 of the video. Typically what I do for coloring is I color from dark to light. So I'm gonna start in with the darkest color and go around where I think my shadows will be and just blend them out from there. I will continue that same process for the entire image, sometimes going back over the areas again to just get to more depth to the colors. All of the colors that I'm using will be listed on my blog.
Now that the coloring is complete, I'm going to start to assemble my card. I had already trimmed down my background to three and three quarters by five inches, and then I'm going to cut that piece down into strips measuring one and a half by five to match that sketch challenge that I was playing along with when I was making this card. So I also have two pieces of cardstock that I'm going to use as my base um, that I'm attaching all of this to with my Tombow adhesive. Then I'll add my strips of the stenciled background before I attach my image. I need a sentiment. So I picked something small just to add to the corner of my image and I'm stamping this with some Gina K Design Black Onyx ink. I just recently purchased this ink and I love it. It's a really nice crisp black ink. I'm matting my colored image onto some craft cardstock with my Tombow adhesive and then I'm going to use some foam tape to attach that mat to the card just to give it a little bit of dimension. Here I'm going to add some Nouveau Crystal Drops Ebony Black to some of the spaces between the leaves and around the flowers just to give it a little bit of interest. I always squeeze a little onto some scrap paper first just so it doesn't bubble out on me. And I almost forgot, I left the centers of the flowers white on purpose because I wanted to add some of the Nouveau Drops Dandelion Yellow to them. This completes my card for today. I love working with stencils and this was a fun way to change up the tone of the colors. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to drop me a comment. I love to hear from the viewers. Subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my latest creations. Hope this inspired you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.